Hi, Adam Small here with Agent Sauce. Today we're going to be talking about how to create your own drip campaigns. Now, uh, as you can see, I am already logged into the Agent Sauce portal, and what I'm going to do is click on the drip campaigns icon in the left navigation bar here. And this is going to take me to our drip campaign page. Now you can see we've already got four drip campaigns uh, created already. And you can see where we've got our edit and our reports and we can delete the drip campaign. We can actually add our own new series right here. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to add a new series. When I click on that button, it asks me to enter a drip campaign name, which I'm going to call it Closed Sellers. And then it also asks me to select a series email list. This is the list where you add subscribers to in order to get this drip. And I'm just going to go ahead and select the closed sellers list that I've already created. And I'm going to hit the yes button here. Now that I've done that, you can see I actually have my closed sellers drip right here. So it's created, but I haven't added any emails to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the edit button here. This takes us to our drip campaign editor page here. And this is where you'll see all the existing emails, which as you can see, we have none. And you can actually add new emails or edit the existing ones. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add a new email drip to the series. So we click on this green button here. And that takes us to our drip email editor page here. Um, we've got a number of boxes on this page. Uh, we're just going to start at top and go through those. Uh, the first one is check this box if this is the last email in the series. And then underneath of that is a drop down box with all of the email lists that you have. And move subscribers to this list when the series is complete. So the way this works is that if you check this box, then once the subscriber has received all of the emails in this drip series, they're going to be moved into whichever list you select here so that they can continue to receive emails from you on a regular basis. Now, since this is our first email in the series, we're not going to check this box and I'm not going to select a series. All I'm going to do is move down here to select a delivery day, enter my subject to my email. Delivery day is the day that the email will be sent after the subscriber has been added to the list. Basically meaning that one means that at, on day one after the subscriber has been added to the list they're going to receive that email. If I select day four then four days after they've been added to the list they're going to be receiving this particular email. So since this is an email that's meant to go out right after the uh, closing has happened with the seller uh, I'm going to just select day one. And then I'm going to move down to my subject line here and I'm going to put congratulations. And we'll make it exciting by putting an exclamation point on it. And then we come down here to our email body here. This is where we enter the body of the email, whatever the content that we want to have in here. And this is a, a very open. You can use the designer to add tables, upload images, um, bold select your font, size, all that good stuff. It's like a regular WYSIWYG editor. So I've got some content over here on the screen, off the screen that I'm just gonna copy and paste right in here. And there it is. And you can see I'm using a merge tag to put their first name in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually upload an image as well um, by clicking on the image icon there, hitting the upload button, choosing a file and selecting my uh, image there hit send to the server and what happens is, is the image gets uploaded and then just dropped in wherever your carrot was um, this is a preview of the image so I hit OK there and you can see I've got my uh, footer image right there so now I'm happy with this email and uh, it's done I don't want to do any more editing to it or anything like that so I just go ahead and hit the save email button at the bottom here and now what happens is the email has been saved. Uh, I return to this page just in case I want to make any changes to it, draft, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, or I can return to the drip campaign here. And now we can see, hey, here's my first email. This is what's going to go out, right? So I want to add a second email. So I hit add new drip. Now the second email is going to be my last email in the series so I'm going to go ahead and check that box and then I'm going to select my newsletter uh, list so that the 
subscriber continues to receive my message from my, that I, the emails that I send to my newsletter list. And then I'm going to select day 15 here and type in a subject line. We'll just call it reminder. And I'm just going to copy and paste this content here in just like that. And I will go ahead and upload my footer once again. Hit the OK button, and there it is. I'm happy with this. Uh, just to kind of review, the box is checked. This is the last email in the series. We've got our newsletter here. That's the list that the subscriber is going to be moved to once they get this email. And this email is going out on the 15th day after they're added. And then there's a reminder there as the subject line. And there's my email. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then hit return to the drip campaign. And as you can see, I'm back on the drip campaign. This is um, the first email. And you can see the subject line here. I can hit this button to edit it. This is the delivery day. And I can just hit this button here and it'll cycle through and show me the second email here. This is the subject line. And then delivery day here, 15. So I'm pretty happy with this. And now my drip campaign is all set up. All I have to do is add subscribers to the closed sellers list. So that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us, info at agentsauce.com or visit us at agentsauce.com. Thanks and have a great day.